ours stands for eternal restoration. God repairs lives. We repair homes. Now, this is a family ministry. Uh, we, we encourage uh, people to sign up as a family if they can and we want to, we want them to start you know young so that you know you're building on giving you know to your community and giving to others and being sacrificial of yourself you know to provide the hands and feet when we're starting to put together teams we have to have a site leader which that's the person that uh, is the construction that is one that may have a little background in uh, what we could use on you know that particular job site and then the team leader we kind of call the mother of the group because she kind of takes care of you know making, making sure, sure everybody's got something yeah. to do and, yeah. and usually uh, leads the devotion at one yeah. time and things like that yeah. and just you know kind of holds the team together because sometimes yeah. you know the site leader he's focused on that job what board yeah. to cut next and yeah. she's focusing on is timmy over here playing in the sand mm -hmm. or you know can timmy do something over here timmy talk visit with the homeowner right. you know we try to get the homeowner involved you know some are able to some are not the, the kids too like a lot of the ones we have like grayson that came in this morning yeah he had been in georgia on a beta trip but he has worked ER for many years, mm -hmm. and he said, I had to come. Yeah. You know, okay. he said, it's a tradition for me. Tenth year, he said this was his tenth year. year. Mm -hmm. and of He's course, 18. He just graduated, so he started when he was yeah. eight, eight nine. Probably on one of our junior teams. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and they just keep coming back. I mean, they, they, these kids mm -hmm. give up three days of their summer break mm -hmm. and sweat and stink and all that stuff, <laughs> and they, they just want to do it every year, and, and that that's God. Yeah, absolutely. The, the girls can outwork the boys if, if <laughs> they, they choose sometimes. to. Yep. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, today we've got uh, a couple of first graders that are working out with, with their dads on a, on a site. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the, the girls, I mean, they they are the more caring. I, I don't want to say guys don't, I mean, you know what I'm good, but But they are the ones that gravitate towards spending time with the, the homeowner, homeowner, which is very important in this ministry. Just, just the love that, that they can show this homeowner is uh, far outweighs mm -hmm. the ramp that's being built or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, uh, and yeah. sometimes the homeowners have no family, you know, and when when they get a group of seven, eight people to come into their home for three days, it it lights them up, mm -hmm. you know. They're they're getting to share their home with strangers, basically, you know, and. Especially the little kids, they the the homeowners. A lot of the homeowners do gravitate towards the children as well too, because children brings life to to any home. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but of our runners this year we did work for him and he's working for us now so I mean he was a homeowner that we ministered to so two of them. kind of well that there's been several yeah. but I just in him in particular uh, he's talked about how ER restored hope to his life and mm -hmm. he oh, yeah. he was kind of sinking in to uh, he'd lost his wife and you know thing and uh, Chris Bolin and his family went out there and he had Two young boys, and then there was some other people. But but they uh, they did the devotion together, and God just worked on on his heart and kind of just brought him out of that dark place. And mm -hmm. and then the next year he was ready to help, and he's been with us every year. Yeah. I just want to thank ER Ministries for this ramp and for all they done for me. Because this year the theme was about hope, and that's what they gave me was hope back. Because I I was out of hope and everything, and uh, they sent a team up here to build this and stuff and fix my home and they just really helped me out and I just want to thank y'all for it and for everything y'all do for the community. And put it on my heart to go out and, and pay it forward and help others out. And so I'm working for yard now and helping other people fix their homes up and giving them hope. So I just want to thank y'all again. ER Ministries came out um, to look at my roof and my roof was leaking. So they came out and they fixed my roof so I didn't have to worry about leaks in my house anymore. So. I was really proud of it. <laughs> Somebody else stepped in because them steps, 
I had about fell two or three times on the steps. I'd catch my toes that way the steps was made. And it 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 makes me feel good to know. I know I know a lot of the churches and stuff uh does things for their people in town. And since I've got older and had to quit work, I've had to depend on them. You know. And, and we will we will run into uh, uh, keep the connection open with with lots of the homeowners. Like we saw one in the store yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, that we had put some drywall up at her home, and, and she she came to tears just right there in the store. She just said just how much that meant to her, and she thanked us again. And this was you know several several years ago. So you know in this small community, I just think it's yeah. hearing their testimony, hearing what. It, you think that you're blessing them, which you are, but the blessing is so much in, in fold coming back, you know, and uh, to see the, the, from the before to the after, which we do before and after photos so that we can see what we started with and what we end up with is amazing because it's such a transformation and you think, how did they do that in three days? Well, you know, with... Um, with all the, the hard work that's put into it with every single you know team member and we know that if the Lord wasn't did not have his hand on this ministry those things wouldn't be, be happening so we want to definitely give him all the glory for it. Went out to a home it's been a, and a shame was working out there too went mm -hmm. out a couple of years ago I want to say it's been two years and the homeowner there Kind of pretty much stayed in the house the first day. They invited him to come out for the devotion, mm -hmm. and he's like, nah. Mm -hmm. Second day, he came out, talked to him a little bit, maybe. Uh, maybe sat in on the devotion. Of course, they prayed when they got there, and he never did any of that by the third day. And them, they knew, they kept pursuing him with, you know, invitations mm -hmm. to, to be a part of, of, of things. And by the third day, he joined that prayer circle. Yeah. For more information, you can get on to the website, which is www.cumberlandparish.org. Click on the ER logo, and it will take you to the page with all the forms and pictures and, and contact information. If your heart has been moved by this footage of ER Ministries, uh, please pray about how you can help. We would love to have you be on a home repair team. If you can donate time, if you can donate materials, but, but first and foremost, pray. Pray for the ministry and pray for the part that you can play in uh, helping to repair homes and, and helping God shine that light through our teams to help restore lives.